This video's content may contain images or content that may be considered offensive to some individuals. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. If you are very young, like under 18 years old. If you are easily offended. You work for human resources. You are a certified religious fanatic. You are an active member of the political correctness police. You're sitting at your desk at work. You're somewhere in a public place. This is a warning. You have five seconds to close this video and go someplace else that would not make you sad, angry, upset or pissed off at the author of this video. Thank you for your consideration. Hello and welcome to Geek Must Have. This is a post bag. A couple of packages. One's a little heavy and the other one's a little oblongish. The first package has come from Hanjing Floor Mail Processing in Guangdong, Paiwang, China. Let's open this package up and see what's inside. Okay. Some more bubble wrap with a lot of red things. Ah, I know what these are. These are a bunch of naked red men with penises on them. They are for putting inside of a bottle of wine, for corking up a bottle of wine. These are going to be Christmas presents to my people who are twisted. Yeah, these are kind of interesting. Help me! I am trying to figure out what possessed me to buy these. And then I remembered there was somebody who has a wine collection who likes to cap off their open bottles of wine. And I thought a few of these would make a nice practical joke gift for them. Yay! The next package is from Shizang Kwandong, which it seems to be a lot of packages come from there. And it says it has integrated circuits in it. Some of these packages, when you get them, they have a smell, almost kind of smells like formaldehyde. I'm wondering whether it's the packing materials or the tape. Regardless, this is an order of items. The next package is from Shizang Kwandong, which it seems to be a lot of packages come from there. And it says it has integrated circuits in it. So let's open this up and see what's inside. Some more of the infamous yellow packing tape. Bubble wrap and parts and more parts. Ooh. Been looking forward to those. Some of these packages, when you get them, they have a smell, almost kind of smells like formaldehyde. I'm wondering whether it's the packing materials or the tape. But Regardless, this is an order of items. These are a package of servo motors and some other parts. Uh, this off to the side. These two here are the standard SG90, I believe. SG90. Power Pro uh, 
micro server motors. Uh, I have a project that I'm going to do that's going to be a robot arm that is controlled by uh, either an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi, probably an Arduino. But it needed a whole bunch of servo motors to handle different parts of it. And certain parts of it didn't need, certain parts of the axis of it didn't need to have as heavy duty motors as some of the other parts. There's a pair of these uh, Tower Pro motors. They're very light there, 9, 10 grams a piece. It's 1.5 kilograms per centimeter torque. It's a very mild amount of torque, but even still enough to be able to control certain aspects of the way this robot or this this mechanical arm is supposed to work. From what I have been told and what I have read on some of the radio control forums and the robot builder forums, these uh, metal gear heads tend to last a lot longer. Uh, this has slightly more torque where the other blue Tower Pro SG90s had like 1.5 kilogram per centimeter. These are 2.0 kilogram per centimeter. Oh, a little bit more torque on them. But the all metal gear is what makes the difference. I think these are a bit pricier too. I got one of these to see how much different it was and as to whether this would be the primary motor for some of the uh, turning components of the mechanical arm. The next item is a series of other digital electronic servos. These are a little bit larger. As you can see from the size, I'm a little beefier. And these are the uh, Tower Pro SG5010s. Same type of control wires that all of them use, same type of signal and voltage wires. The uh, gearhead on these is made out of plastic. Similar type of toothed gearhead made out of plastic, but the difference with this motor is, as you can probably guess from its size, is that it's a higher torque motor. Okay? It uh, has a capability uh, at about 5 volts of 8 kilograms per centimeter, which is about four times what this one is, and as you can see from the size. Kind of makes sense. This also draws a lot more current out of it, uh, which isn't going to be a problem on a robot, but if you were putting this in a radio-controlled airplane or a helicopter, this would take a lot more power than this one. And if all you're moving is an aileron surface, these little small motors are just more than enough power than these bigger ones. But if you're controlling a robot arm where you have to worry about it's going to pick something up, then you need to have these stronger type motors. This acrylic case with uh, the cutout parts um, is assembled by you sticking a little nut in that slot there and then the other part interacts with it and locks into place and you put the bolt in and screw it down until it's tight. Uh, this is a case uh, for the Mega 2560R3 and this particular case does not have a fan in it but it does have cutouts in it to be able to get to the various uh, pinouts. So this is one of those assemble kits from what I've seen on other YouTube YouTubers videos is getting the paper off of this may take the most amount of time. It might take me half an hour to get the paper off and 10 minutes to put it together. The last item in this package is this other Raspberry Pi case. And this one's a little different than the other one. It's still made out of laser cut plastic and it still does have a coating on or covering on it, but it's clear. A 
a little difficult to get off. This will be another one that takes half a frickin' hour to get the cover the paper off of. But the difference on this one is this part here has a cutout. This is the top part of it. This is the notch along the side here where the GPIO cable, signal cable comes out. That's a little hole mounted for a fan. And here's the little itty tiny fan that came with it that goes into there. This is the same type of case. It connects together by putting a nut on this side here and then driving a bolt through on the other side. And I see that I got the box, but I don't seem to have gotten any hardware with this one. That hardware to mount the fan. Maybe these just snap together. Oh, yeah. I think these just snap together. How clever. The end of this here, if you can see it, it's got a little squeegee or a little squishy thing so that when you slip it in, it snaps into place. These don't require any nuts or bolts to hold them together. You just kind of press fit them together. And after this one's together, I guess it stays together. So that's the second case. That's a case that's a snap together. Doesn't have to have any hardware. And the fan for it. And some additional hardware for the servo motors. And the last item in today's post bag comes from Mr. Lau from Senpo Kong, Hong Kong. And it's listed as an Arduino module. Let's see what's inside this. Well, the package, and it's well wrapped with a bunch of Static bags in it. I wonder what these are. Oh, but five of them. Very well sealed. Come on. Really? There we go. These are, as you can see right here, I zoom in a little bit on those. These are four channel logic converters. If you've ever tried to hook up a 3.3 volt device to a 5.5 volt system, you know uh, sometimes it's difficult to get a bi-directional logic level converter. And this converts signals in both directions from 5 to 3.5 and 3.5 stepping it up to 5. Uh, these will also work at lower voltages down to 3 and 2 volts a piece and that uh, they're very easy to use. They're powered from uh, two voltage sources. And these are very useful when you're using a combination of circuits that have both five and three volts. So these are uh, four channel uh, I squared C logic level converters. They're bi-directional. Uh, I didn't have any of these. I don't have a specific project for them right now, but I've run into a couple of Arduino uh, projects on the Arduino site that talks about needing these. So I got a five pack. This is quite a 
large post bag in the sense of the number of things that are inside of it. Uh, I enjoyed getting these and taking a look at them. Uh, I hope that uh, possibly this video was helpful and you may have learned something from it. Uh, if you like this video, click on the like button below. And if you have any comments or suggestions, uh, please put them in the comment section below. Uh, I have a companion blog site called geekmusthave.com and it has a lot of blog posts and articles about all sorts of things that deal with technology, not just component pieces like this and robot arms and Arduinos and whatever, but software things and techniques for developing software. Uh, if you get a chance, go visit it. And I have a last favor to ask you. If you could give a geek a hand and subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. Now, take a little time off and go build yourself a robot arm with a bunch of servo motors.